if we can help people get well, we can help them transform their body, they are going to have so much energy and enthusiasm for life that they're going to want to say, what is next? Help me take things to the next level. We are here today with our Friday review episode of the week. This is episode 2632. 2632, we'll be going over all the recaps from the week. Excited to get over that, especially since if you missed any of these shows, these were some by popular request and also a lot of what we have going on right now in the virtual functional medicine practice. So we'll absolutely get to that. We've got a brand new type of plastic-free, sustainable, soft, uh, and recyclable toilet paper and facial tissue company that I want to recommend to you. I've been ordering them for my family now for about maybe a month or two. So uh, it's passed the test and I want to now share that with you. Uh, we've got a couple books here to review uh, that if you haven't already picked up, a pretty easy one, simple one to get through and another one just bringing it back to your attention. Now that uh, I've been talking a lot more about concussions, traumatic brain injuries, uh, even long COVID as well. So I want to share some of uh, why this book might be helpful research studies on the most important time of the day to brush your teeth. Really important. I, do, I definitely want you to tune into this one. And uh, the last one is on meditation and overall mindfulness and why it actually does more than just reduce stress. All right, so let's get started. First and foremost, I always love to give you my updates of the week. This for me is a huge week. Uh, and that is because for more than three years. So if anybody's listened to the Cabral concept now for like three to five years, you know I said this three to five years ago between that uh, space that once I got all of the protocols complete that I wanted for our practice and for the world. So our global practice, not just what I had in Boston, but how can I make this honestly, uh, more concise? How can I make it more systematic so that anyone anywhere in the world could follow the specific instructions and get the care that would cost them typically, I don't know, $1,000 or $1,500 working with a functional medicine practice. And again, it's not that that's not valuable. It is. You get all the different check-ins and you get to run labs and all those great things. But what if you're not able to? So that's what I really set myself to do uh, over the last year is just systematize everything. I have an amazing team. So it allows me then to focus more on research and education. And our latest and greatest updates for a lot of those protocols will actually be debuting then in June. And so you're going to see new packaging and like just really easy things for both children and adults. Because we've heard you, we've listened to you that you want protocols that your kids can use as well. So that's what we created. And, uh, and I'm excited. I, they won't be here until June. But uh, in June, please do stay tuned. You'll see that. So that, that allowed me then the space to be able to do what I love. And that is now focus on if we can help people get well, we can help them transform their body. They are going to have so much energy and enthusiasm for life that they're going to want to say, what is next? Help me take things to the next level because that's where I was with my life. So not healthy, not well, you know, I mean, pneumonia every winter was probably the least of my issues, but I was just so, my body was so weak in my twenties, I would get pneumonia every single winter. I mean, it was, it was awful. The autoimmune issues, the gut issues, the skin issues, the sleep issues, the energy issues, the mood issues, it was not good. But I fixed that. And so after I fixed that, I was healthy then in my 30s. And I said, I mean, this is amazing. So I started my practices. I, I, you know, I worked a lot. I started a family. That's a lot of work as well, but I had the energy to be able to do it. And I was excited. And now my daughters are a little bit uh, older. They're not old, but eight and 10. And it's, it's allowed me now explore in my 40s what I want a lot of that rest of my life to be. And it's taking my aspects of my life, my family and my work and my health, and taking all that to the next level, but mainly through how I care for the vessel, which is my body and my health that allows me the energy and the abundance and mentality and mindset to be able to do all of these things. And to say like, I'm never too tired for my kids. I'm never too tired for my team. And, and but it's real energy. It's not forced energy. And, and so that's what I share now with the launch of the high performance health 
system that I've created. It's a course, it's a certification for practitioners, and it's also going to be videos of how to so that you can participate whether you want to go in depth or not. But it's also going to be now its own separate category of podcast. Many of those will be on Thursdays here on the Cabral Concept. You don't need to go anywhere. They'll always be in the Cabral Concept, but they'll be broken out. And I'll be sharing with you how legitimately, legitimately we can reverse disease. And also that if you want to, you can add another 33% to your life. You might say that's not possible. Think about this, though. Average lifespan, about 75 years, if you're average men and women together. Okay? 75 years. Well, what's a third of that? 25, right? We can get people to 100 years old now. We can. But I don't think that that's what people want. I believe they want to be healthy and not look like and feel like a lot of the 100-year-olds we see today. I'm telling you right now, you'll be able to do that now. With the new advances in medicine, with what we know about reversing dis-ease in the body, you can then increase health span. So you will be healthy all the way through, let's say, mid-90s, just like most centenarians. And if your lifespan reaches 100, it's only months or a year or two before you pass away that you are then not in a healthy state. And it's my opinion that if you're like 60 years old right now and we can help you over the next 10 years where all these things are really debuting. So like what's debuting right now is we know how to optimize the body. Essentially, I mean, honestly, reverse everything from Alzheimer's to heart disease to blood pressure to type 2 diabetes to even cancer. So please don't believe that this is science fiction. I thought it was all of that three to five years as well. But now I'm at all of the conferences I'm speaking at events, and we're debuting things like the HPH protocol, which is very, very, uh, not just affordable, but approachable. Like, it's not hard to do. 20 minutes to 30 minutes, four to five times a week. And you can get all the benefits, and I've been stating the research. And so I don't want to make this all about HPH, but I I couldn't be more passionate about it. I couldn't be more excited about it. And what I'm going to do is just keep rolling out a little bit more information for you every single week. All the clinical research of things that you can begin to implement in your life right now. But if you want to know more of what I'm talking about, well, again, we're going to continue to develop this website, but it's called highperformancehealth.org. And you'll be able to see what I'm teaching there. Uh, There'll be content there. There'll be resources. But it's everything that I've been doing now for the last couple of years that I believe has, without a doubt, taken my energy and my health to even that next level. So if you're looking for the next level, this is it. It really is. Now, if you're someone suffering with health issues right now, autoimmune, digestion, et cetera, that's different. You're gonna run your labs over at Equal Life, or you're going to become an integrative health practitioner, learn how to heal yourself, and then go on to heal others. This is for that next level. This is for people who wanna know what are legitimately the healthy biohacks, right? Like what are the things, If you're going to do red light, what should it be? How long? If you're going to do sauna, what should it be? How long? But also, you don't have two hours a day to do all these things. How can you make it into one protocol? And there's obviously so much more cutting edge than that. The the diet, the movement, mitochondria, redox, like all sorts of different things. So it's check it out. It's over at health performance, sorry, (laughs) highperformancehealth.org. HPH is what I call it for short. You can check it out. I can't wait to teach also practitioners how to do this so that they are then the practitioners helping people all around the world to implement these high performance health protocols. So thank you for allowing me to share that. And then one thing I just wanted to add to that is like, as a, um, I always do like a little something like, how if you've, if you've hit a milestone, you have to do something not as a reward, but as a like, let it sink in and know that you accomplished what you wanted to accomplish before then just moving on to the next goal. So I like to set something like, hey, when you do this, then go do something and be like, hey, you finished it. You completed it. Congrats. Like you're just like, you, you, you achieve your goals. You need to tell your nervous system and your mind that it's not just jumping from one goal to one goal to one goal. Like with no, no, it's not, it's not a reward. It's a sense of accomplishment. And so even though like I am nowhere done with high performance health, it is going to go on for decades. This is now my life's work. It's now my life's work is to say, 
we have to help people live a longer, healthier life. Because I just think that, imagine if you knew that 75 years old wasn't the end of your life. And what if you were healthy all through your 70s and 80s? What if it felt like your 50s? Or maybe your 40s for a lot of people who are not feeling that great right now, right? So that's what I wanted to share with people. And and so what I did for myself, though, was I went into uh, this. So I talked about it. I shared it on my Instagram at Hippocrates uh, down in in West Palm in Florida. And uh, that's one. It reminded me so much of my internships more than a decade ago. And I was at this, like, it's just old. It's an old health center, like, turn back the clock you know, to the, to the eighties. Uh, I think, I don't know when they originally went down, but somewhere around there. And it was, it was great being back. Everything came back to me about being at all these Ayurvedic centers and, you know, traditional Chinese center, medicine centers and in the Netherlands and, and all over the place. But anyway, they have a new, uh, they call it immunity health spa. And the health spa has all of the high tech gadgets. These things are like $100,000 each. And um, I basically spent a half a day there. And so I, I met with the team, I, we had great meetings. And but also I got to try out the latest and greatest things that I hadn't seen since I was in Europe. So they had these things more than a decade ago in Europe, but they just have never been over here in the US. And now in the US, they even have, well, they're same advanced versions over in Europe, but even more advanced, basically. It's come over the past 10 plus years. So that was it. And I got I sent uh, videos like this massive red light machines and hyperthermia-based units and uh, vibrational healing PEMF mat, PEMF mat tables. Uh, so it was fantastic. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to share that with you. I always love giving you a little bit of personal insight just as to where I'm at, where my mind's at, kind of where we're moving to. And and just, I never want to forget about, you know, where we're at and our community. But I also, like our, some of our community has been with us for quite some time. Uh, some of you have seen my YouTube videos from back when I was a spokesperson for, you know, uh, different companies back in the, I don't know, 2000 and I don't even know that was 2005, 2006. And so, you know, we've had some community members for a, a while and, and they're healthy now, which is great. That's what we want, of course. So it's like, all right, what's the next level? This is the next level. So again, I thank you. I appreciate uh, allowing me to share that with you. And if you do want details, I would love for you to check that out, be a part of this uh, new community, taking things to the highest level with highperformancehealth.org. All right, the uh, what is going on over at Equal Life this week? I have to share that, and that is the buy six, get two free. This is something that people have wanted to come back now for about a year and a half. We haven't had this for about two years. And it just enables people that if you already know what you like, What you're going to use, such as advanced collagen support, or maybe it's daily fruit and vegetable blend, or omega-3, or whatever it might be, FM zinc, it could be anything. We have 100 plus uh, different products, and you can get two free now. So it's buy six, get two free. If you already know, you might as well get two more months free. If you already know that you're going to use it, stock up and save. This is the absolute best time. And so if you're someone that uh, subscription's always a great deal every single day, but if you're someone that um, knows you're going to use it or you don't like to do subscription, totally up to you. But what I would do is I would check that out because this is limited time only. And so head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash shop for all of those Equal Life deals this week. Okay, podcast recap. Over the past week, Monday's show was develop one daily discipline for success. This was a crucial show. Whether you're doing a health program, body transformation program, relationship program, your financial program, investing, whatever it might be, check this out first. One daily discipline. I enjoyed uh, recording that show. That was episode 2628. Signs and symptoms of hidden high blood sugar. I did a recap of what it looks like for typically high blood sugar symptoms before you get type 2 diabetes. Uh, And then I also went over uh, ones that most people don't talk about. So definitely check that out. That's 2629. The real causes of insulin resistance and diabetes. Uh, Why am I doing so much with blood sugar? Here's the thing. Difficult to transform your body. Difficult to balance your energy. And it is the arguably third or fourth leading cause of mortality or death. So really wanted to put that out there fourth and, uh, first and foremost. You're going to know it's one out of three people. So you're going to know someone in your life with type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance. So please do check it out. It's everything from PCOS typically based issues 
to weight gain, to diabetes, etc. So please check that out. In yesterday's show, that was 2631, uh, was the triage theory of why we age. And I would love you to check to check that out as well, because this is why, it explains why some people are getting results short term with these fad diets, but they age at a much faster rate. So symptoms go away, but they just start to age rapidly. So please do check out that show. And of course, feel free to share these shows. That's why we do them, right? Every single day, uh, the Cabral Concept comes to you on your favorite podcast player and uh, or right on YouTube. And, uh, and there you have it. All right. So now we're at the product review and book review section of the podcast. This is a company I've been using now for about a month or two. It's got an R right on the wrapper. Pretty, I think it's pretty nice packaging. I want to explain that in just a moment. The company's name is Real. It's R-E-E-L. And they have right now toilet paper and they have facial tissue, which I just call Kleenex. But my wife makes fun of me every time I say Kleenex. She says, nobody, except if you're in your 80s, says Kleenex anymore. And I just say Kleenex. You know, it's just, that's just the way that it is. All right. But um, why this company? I want to actually just share with you the real reason that I signed up for this company. The first one is this, plastic-free packaging. I know I'm only one person, but if every person only as one person says, let me use a little less plastic, that would be a great thing. So you can hear this, even if if you're not watching on video, you can hear it. It comes in a paper wrapper. So each one is just individually wrapped. And it says, our bamboo toilet paper in recycled paper towels, I didn't know they did recycled paper towels, comes in 100% plastic-free packaging that is recyclable and compostable. All right, the second one is this. It is free of dyes and inks. Premium, durable paper goods without any of the added nasty stuff like BPAs, inks, harmful chemicals, dyes, or fragrances. We like that, especially for kids as well, my two daughters. It's made with sustainable paper. We use FSC certified recycled paper and bamboo wood pulp to make uh, our paper so no more trees are cut down for our recycled and bamboo paper products. So great, less trees are cut down. Carbon neutral freight shipping. Our freight shipping practices produce a net zero amount of carbon dioxide emissions. So all of this is why um, I decided to make the switch. It's really no more expensive. You're using bamboo toilet paper uh, with no chemicals. And if I unwrap this for you here, lo and behold, it looks like a perfectly normal uh roll of toilet paper, except that there's indents on it and it's just a lot softer. So uh, that is the recommendation and I will link it up here at stephencabral.com forward slash 2632. I'll also be linking up the books in a moment as well as the research. So head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 2632. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a discount from the company. We always do our best to try and we will uh, put it at stephencabral.com forward slash 2632. And then, of course, uh, for all of our recommended products, head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash resources. These are just all the companies that I use in my own family uh, in our private practice as well. Okay, next up is a book review of the week. This one is the Blue Zones Challenge. I've recommended many Blue Zones books in the past. I really have. This one, you don't buy first, all right? So if you've never read the Blue Zones Diet, I recommend reading the Blue Zones Diet. So, I mean, that, that's basically it. So why don't I link that up as well? First and foremost, just read the Blue Zones Diet. You don't even need to follow the Blue Zones Diet, but I do recommend it, reading it because it is one of the premier longevity-based diets in the world. It really is. You cannot discount it. It is not just one population, but over a half dozen studied that live to be 100 plus years old, the largest uh, number of centenarians per population. So uh, the challenge book is something, this probably just came out maybe a year ago. I'm trying to think when I actually purchased this. It's a four-week plan, that's all that it is, for basically implementing the Blue Zones diet in a very simple manner should you want to or choose to. I'd love to come out with one of these one day for uh, the rain barrel effect. If you're good at these little companion challenges and like to put together the action plan, let us know. We'd love to hear that. I'd love to be able to get a little journal like this out for people to make it even easier. Um, you know, 400 page book. How do we take that down to 100 pages for people to be able to implement? So, you know, I agree with like 95% 
of the Blue Zones uh, diet and Dan Buettner's work. I really do. There's some stuff that I don't. Like, he doesn't always believe in exercise, uh, weight training, things like that, because the Blue Zone populations didn't do it. He doesn't really believe in um, what else? Uh, let's say like meditation or some of these spiritual based practices. Not that he doesn't believe in it, but like they didn't do it as much. Okay. They had religion, they had belief and all that. Yes. Um, he didn't necessarily believe in, uh, new, like nutritional supplements because they didn't have it. But here's the thing. Uh, I, I think that we can do even better. So I say, yes, we follow the practices mainly of the blue zone. We, I mean like without a doubt, but we can make it better because I know a lot of these people at 100 plus years old in the blue zones, they made it to 100. Some made it to 110 plus, some made it to 120. But they are, they look every bit of 100 plus years old. So I just want to put it that way. And I'm not talking about vanity metrics. Like they, they are not, I want to be 100 years old and healthy and fit and, and agile, like that's what I want people to work towards, right? So there's just a little bit different. Like I see nothing wrong with why not? Why can't we incorporate some red light, some infrared, some PMF, some nutritional supplements? Some these things are all being proven too to help exp- extend lifespan. So what I do is I integrate. I don't say only this, right, or that. I say all of these things that have been proven safe. But having said that, I do believe in the Mediterranean diet. I believe in the blue zone based principles. All right, so I wanted to recommend this to you. And then I got asked for a book on EWOT because I've been talking about HBOT lately, hyperbaric oxygen therapy and EWOT, which is exercise with oxygen therapy, which is I do. I don't do the HBOT, but I do the EWOT. And I looked it up for someone and I've already reviewed the book. It's called the Anti-Inflammatory Oxygen Therapy uh, book. And it's the complete guide to understanding and using natural oxygen therapy. And it's by Dr. Mark Circus. He's got a lot of books. Um, I wanted just to share this again with you. I've already recommended it, but I'll link it up here today. And when I look, though, it's interesting because on Amazon, there's only one other book. And it, it's the original founder of basically the multi-step oxygen therapy protocols that Dr. Circus and uh, ev- basically everybody learned from. And that was Manfred von Ardeen. All right, so... His book, you're probably not going to buy. It's $10,000 for the paperback, and it's $3,000 for the hardcover. So you're welcome to purchase it. Uh, his book is called Oxygen Multi-Step Therapy, and uh, and that's that. But this one is probably $10, $12, and then uh, I'll link that up as well. So just wanted to share that with you. All right, two quick research studies because I know we're coming up on time. Uh, the first one is when to brush your teeth. This is important because I had to share this with my daughter, and uh, she thought that it was okay to eat breakfast first and then brush her teeth. And I said, it's okay to brush your teeth again after breakfast if you'd like. However, the most important time to brush your teeth is before breakfast. Actually, it's upon waking because when you wake up, you have peak levels of bacteria in your mouth. And that is the main reason also for bad breath. Regardless, if you don't care about bad breath or not, that's fine, but that is bacterial buildup. And if you start eating breakfast, uh, one, you kind of just swallow down the bacteria, but two, if you have any uh, sugars or anything fermentable, it can start to feed that bacteria as well, and then that can start to overgrow in your mouth. That overgrowth could actually cause cavities and wearing away of the enamel as well. So not good. So my recommendation is when you wake up, what I do is I walk to the bathroom, I kind of wash, flush my eye, wash my eyes, a little water on them, like kind of wake myself up. I'm awake, but I want to like you know, get those eyes open, uh, especially if you've had a history of mast cell activation syndrome. If anybody has that before, they, they know the, the puffiness that you can get. And, uh, and then right away, brushing my teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your tongue, use a copper tongue scraper. Uh, if you'd like, if you've never heard of a copper tongue spray, scraper, you can see it at stephencabral.com forward slash shop. Just type in tongue and you'll, it'll pop up. Uh, so that's that. I want to share that with you. Actual scientific research behind it. Uh, why don't I link that up? It's out of the University of Mich- Michigan School of Dentistry uh, in Dent. And uh, let's see where else. This was done by uh, Apoena de Aguera. Ribeiro. I apologize. I'm sure I mispronounced that. Okay. So that was the first research study of the day. Just make sure you share that with others. You brush those teeth right upon waking. All right. The second one is this. 
Uh, mindfulness and meditation techniques have proven successful for the reduction of stress and improvement in general health. In addition, meditation is linked to longevity in longer telomere length, a proposed biomarker for human aging. Interestingly, DNA methylation changes have been described at specific subtelomeric regions in long-term meditators compared to controls. Let me just read you two more sentences, then I'll explain that. In recent years, the use of, <clears throat> excuse me, Mindfulness and meditation techniques have been increasing in Western societies with the aim of reducing stress and improving overall health. Mindfulness-based mindfulness interventions have proved their beneficial effect on a number of medical and psychological conditions, including depression, anxiety, and immune disorders. In addition, it has been proposed that meditation techniques could positively affect longevity. In fact, intensive meditation training has been associated with an increase in telomerase activity and longer telomere lengths in blood cells, which is considered a candidate biomarker for human aging. So what I wanted to share with you is this. We are getting to the point now where we're able to mimic meditation with certain things such as um, cutting off the sensory of the eyes, listening to binaural beats with headphones that kind of noise cancel everything out, using Float tanks, uh, same thing, sensory de deprivation with uh, vibrational-based therapy. So a lot of the things that we've taught before. Meditation is phenomenal. We should continue with it, but really what it is, it is calming the sympathetic nervous system, inducing the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest, relax, and digest, and improving overall heart rate variability as well. And I'll be teaching more about that in the future too. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't give up on your meditation practice. Keep doing mindfulness-based work. It will help with the overall picture of your anti-aging and health. Thank you so much for tuning into today's show. I appreciate you. I thank you. And I'll be back tomorrow answering your questions on our weekend Cabral House Calls. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics that you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.